Where are we today? We are in Chinatown in Chiang Mai in northern Thailand, and I have here Clitoria ternitia, otherwise known as blue butterfly tea. Now this is a uh, flower blossom, beautiful, beautiful blue blossom. And this is used to make tea. In fact, we've drunk some tea here in this market. You'll see that people sell these uh, blossoms dried as they ready to brew tea. And additionally, they make some desserts here that are colored with this, especially some coconut custards. Um, this flower enjoys a long history of traditional use. In Ayurveda, in India's oldest medicinal uh, system, it's actually considered uh, something that ameliorates the wrath of the god of karma. Uh, this has been used for various health purposes. The purple, the bluish purple, is due to the presence of an antioxidant group known as the anthocyanins. They're the same antioxidants that are in blueberry, cranberry, and acai, very, very popular superberries. Uh, they're concentrated in this, and uh, this blossom, when freeze-dried, makes a super, super concentrated, high anthocyanin, high antioxidant, healthful product that can be used as a tea, can also be added into smoothies or into foods to boost the antioxidant profile and also just to make them look plain beautiful. So what we have here is uh, Anchan, this is the blue butterfly tea, this is uh, Clitoria ternitia. It's concentrated into a tea. This woman is adding some lime to it, which turns this blue purple. And uh, we're here at a we're here at a juice bar in Chinatown in Chiang Mai. This is the place, and she's pouring various liquids in here. Mixing that up. What is that? Sugar water? Sugar syrup? Okay. Be sure it's not any. Right. All right. So this is basically like a blue butterfly freeze. Oh, I don't need the top, but thank you for that. Wonderful. Okay.